Nothing but grief and bother! Enough ceremony! Face me and die! Cut them down! Kothug. in our midst. Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? That Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. We must prepare. I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. He's dead. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct. And it's about gods. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. Hunt is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. Yeah, what do we need them yeah. for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. The Cargors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargors. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? And the hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling. Infectious, and she doesn't nag like my wife. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different, like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on the Caragor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose, then? Wouldn't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride.
When a Caragor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, or eat dirt. It's not gonna mount a Caragor on your first try. Took a few scars to perfect my method. Oi! Draws blood, you're doing it right. Let the bastard charge you. Quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? When you hop in and introduce yourself, ask it for a ride. <laughs> when a Karagor charges, you have two options. Well, Knock the bastard down, or eat down. Don't flinch, stranger. If a Karagor draws blood, you're doing it right. If it kills her, well, you did it wrong. Stand your ground! Hold tight! Become one with the beast! Come on, take it back. That's about the same time it took me to take one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. <laughs> let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it will fight for you. Hunting and learning for long, dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a space to the hunt. Sure, you can ride a character, but can you shoot from one? You take him up high. Leave the Grand Docks to me! Another one for me! The world was young, the mountains green. No stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone. When Jenkins are much cleaner, 
quality over quantity. The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone. Oh, that was gruesome! Double points! Set my beard to light. Kill the cannibal! <laughs> Running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. <laughs> the hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a grey eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be. Even before they toss me into the rocks below. Or hunting party. Let's hunt them bastards oh, for a change. Lord, but another day already on me. <laughs> Take on a fresh batch. We'll find another camp. Put you to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a grey eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they toss me. Or hunting party. Let's hunt them bastards for a change. Time for blood! You hear that? Oh, shit. Turn off his legs! Make him even shoot! Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunt. 
hunter. You make a nice meal, dwarf. Torven needs help. This land can stop the rise of the Uruk. Nothing. Quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to Vintalion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. Let's see how you fight off, oh, you beast! Torven needs help. What did I find this morning? Riding Karagors have to do with killing grogs. All these questions, Captain. Well, you were supposed to follow orders. You're testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You don't need size and strength to fight the mighty grog. Remember, hunt. Respect the turn. Who knows? He will even call you sir. Eh? <laughs> What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crobane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? So you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how. Step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end.
I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Cargo for speed. for speed. described at Torven. Dessert? We're a sweet little morsel! If you can get me in your mouth before I drop you with my hammer! <laughs> Yeah. 
with the sting of my blade. Instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? Torben! I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think, what would Torben do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Grog holds you there. I'm ready to fight the Grog. And that's just what you do. Fight. No art, no finesse. The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing, it's bigger than that! From your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Grog is very, very big! Oh, oh wait, you're mocking me! Grogs are one of the oldest species of Mordor, and the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this Grog. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. My old partner and I once tracked a Grog from Mount Dolmed to Nogrog. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The Grog knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this crowd for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt? Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty Grog will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. Whoa! I'm kind of 
hours are too quiet. I don't think the Grug is home. <laughs> then we go in and we wait. Ambush? How military. I like it. That's just as sharp as the day our father made it.
I think he's dead. <laughs> ah! 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 Well, that's what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time, I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what do you say? We put no, some no, shadows. No, 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 I have to do this on my own. If you survive, <clears throat> come to the Blue Mountains, eh? <laughs> Lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. I see how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> But on your road, there's not...